Hello everyone, this is Paul here with Member Press, and in today's video we're going to cover how to connect Stripe to your uh, Member Press membership website. So uh, I've got a testing site here, and you can see I've got a few uh, memberships that I've already created, and uh, I want to allow people to purchase with their credit cards through Stripe. So I already have a Stripe.com account. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click uh, this options section under the Member Press menu. And when that page loads up, we'll click this Payments tab. And I'm going to add a new payment method. I'm going to choose Stripe. And then I'm going to give it a name, and I'm just going to call it uh, Credit Card. Now, you'll notice uh, I have have this message here that says I'm locked in test mode. And that's because I don't have HTTPS on my site. Uh, this is a WP Sandbox testing site, which does not have access to uh, SSL currently. So I will be using test mode for this video. Um, however, if you have SSL on your website, you will be able to turn test mode on and off um, whenever you'd like. So um, you will need an SSL certificate in order to process live payments through Stripe, um, which is why this locks you into test mode. Uh, if you do not have uh, SSL on your site. So now that I've entered in the name, I've selected Stripe as the gateway, I'm just going to click this blue Connect with Stripe button. And you'll see it takes me to this page here first where I'm going to log in with my memberpress.com username and password. And once you've logged in successfully there, you'll get to the next uh, Stripe page. Now this will ask you, if you're not already logged into Stripe, this will ask you to create a new Stripe account, which you definitely do not want to do. So up here in the top right, you'll see there's this little link over here that says sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and click that because I already have a Stripe account. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while I enter in my Stripe username and password. Okay, so I just entered my Stripe.com username and password. And now you can see it pulled up this saying, hey, you're trying to connect to MemberPress. Uh, please choose which Stripe account you want to uh, connect with. I'm going to use my testing Stripe account. And then we're finally going to click this blue Connect My Stripe Account button. And this might take just a minute while the connections are finalizing. But once it's done, you'll be redirected back to your dashboard. Uh, to this Payments tab, and you'll notice that Connect with Stripe button is now gone, and instead we see this green box here that says, hey, everything has been connected just fine. And uh, you can disconnect by clicking this button. Uh, please note that if you do disconnect, you will your payments basically will stop working, so uh, you want to make sure that you are uh, connected at all times uh, if you need to be processing live credit card transactions. Um, if for some reason you're having a problem with the connection here, our support may recommend that you disconnect and then you know go through this process to connect one more time. Uh, sometimes that will resolve uh, connection issues. Uh, but for the most part, um, you're just going to leave it just how it is right here. So now that this is all set up, I'm going to go to a membership. And let's go ahead and do a test sign up. I'm going to skip all these fields that are not required. I'm just going to fill out the required ones so that we can get through this quickly. Test stripe one at email.com. And I'm going to put in a password. And then I'm going to choose credit card as my payment method. And we'll use 41111 as the card number. And I can put in any future date, any CVC code, and uh, any zip code when I'm in test mode. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up. Okay, and I was redirected to my thank you page, which I have not configured on this test site yet, so that's why this page is blank. But uh, if we go to our account page now, and click on the subscriptions tab, you can see we do have um, a successful Stripe payment here. So everything seems to be working well, at least for non-recurring tests. Um, so next I want to just test, see this was a $2,600 uh, membership 
for a lifetime access. So next I just want to test a recurring subscription and make sure those are working with the Stripe connection as well. So I'm going to open this in an incognito window. And again, I'm going to fill out this form really quick. Okay, and then I'm going to choose credit card as the payment method. And let's go ahead and try paying. Oh, I almost forgot a field here. There we go. Okay, and we landed on the thank you page again. So I'm just going to go back to the account, click on subscriptions, and we have a valid Stripe customer number here for the subscription. So everything looks good. And uh, let's see if the payment came through for that. And it did. So it looks like our Stripe connection for both one time and recurring payments is working just fine. Uh, if you are having some trouble uh, with recurring payments, uh, there could be a problem with the webhook. Um, this Stripe connection should automatically set up your webhooks for you. But if you've changed your domain name or you've you know, add www dot to it, or you you didn't have SSL, and then you went and added SSL, um, your webhook could have been invalidated. And so um, what you're going to want to do is log into your stripe.com dashboard. And uh, I'm just going to make sure I get that in test mode here before I show it on the screen. Okay, so I've got quite a few um, uh, webhooks set up here, but you can see this latest one, the Prickly Jackal, um, and my ID is PYEMTE6LV. And if I come here, I can match it up with this ID right here. So the webhook is in here, it's correct. We know it's working because we just did a test, but if you're having some troubles getting recurring payments to track, uh, this would be the first place I would check is make sure your webhook is in place at stripe.com. It's here under this developer section and then webhooks. And you'll just want to make sure that the ID portion of that webhook matches up with the ID here on MemberPress. And uh, so that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. Um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to our support and uh, we'll do our best to help you out.